Hello ladies, this is Zahra from Zakashat. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the love triangle throw step by step. It was my first pattern back in January 2018 and I got lucky that it was published in pics.com. I love this pattern so much, it's so special for me and I hope that you enjoy making it. I leave a link to the downloadable PDF in the description box. Now my videos will be mainly in Arabic with English subtitles, but I'm planning to make English versions of my design tutorials only. So what do you think about that? I call this pattern love triangle because when three hexagons join together, it will form a triangle in the middle, which is obviously what you see when you look at it. And I thought of this part as little hearts. So love triangle is what came to my mind. So what do you think about the name? In the main pattern, I used this yarn from Knit Picks. It's called Multi Stitch. It's 20% super washed wool and 20% acrylic. But in this video, I'm going to use Ice Yarn Alara. It's 50% cotton, 50% acrylic blend with 5 mm hook. This throw made of hexagons and half hexagons for the edges. The size of the hexagon is 6 inches and 11 to 12 inches. In the main project, I used 19 balls of Mighty Stitch to make 25 hexas and 6 half hexas. But in this project, I'm going to make 13 hexas and 4 half hexas. The schematic of the throw shown in the picture. You can make as many hexas as you want to achieve the size you want. This tutorial will be divided in two to three videos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the hexagon, which is 12 rounds. So let's begin. I'll start with a slip knot and five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Close it with a slip stitch. Chain three. Now we'll make a cluster consist of four DCs, but I will consider the three chains as the first DC. One, two, and three for the first cluster. Two chains, the second cluster, one, two, three, and four. Two chains. We will repeat four times for a total of six clusters.
the last one. End with two chains and slip stitch in the first cluster. For the second row, chain five. DC in the same stitch. 2 DC and the next chain space. One DC, two chains, one DC and the next stitch. Two double crochet in the next chain space. We will repeat. One double crochet, two chains, one double crochet in the next stitch, and two D and two double crochet in next chain space. Repeat to the end. Double crochet, two chains, double crochet, two double crochet in the next space. Ending with two double crochet and slip stitch in the third chain from the beginning. And that's how the second round ends. Begin the third row with a slip stitch in the next space. Chain one and buff in the same space. The buff consists of four loops. Chain two, another buff in the same space. Followed by front post double crochet. Double crochet in the next two stitches. And a front post double crochet in the next stitch. The repeat will be buff, chain two, buff in the next chain space. A front post double crochet, double crochet in next two stitches, and a front post double crochet. I'll finish the repeat and come back. We end up with two double crochet and we'll make a front post double crochet in the beginning three chains. Close with a slip stitch in the first puff. 
And that's how the third round ends. Chain one for round four. Buff in the same stitch. Double crochet, two chains, double crochet in the next space. Buff in the next stitch. Front post double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next two stitches. The repeat will be a front post double crochet, buff in the next stitch. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet, buff in the next stitch, front boss double crochet. Two double crochets, and now repeat to the end. Round five, chain one, buff in the same stitch, front post double crochet, double crochet, two chains, double crochet in the next space. Front post double crochet, buff in the next stitch, front post double crochet, one double crochet in the next two stitches. The repeat will be Front post double crochet, buff, front post double crochet, double crochet, two chains, double crochet in the next space, front post double crochet. Buff in the next stitch. Front post double crochet. One double crochet in next two stitches. And repeat to the end. I'll finish with two double crochet, 
and front post double crochet in the last stitch and a slip stitch in the first buff and that's how round five looks round six chain one buff in the same stitch front post double crochet double crochet double crochet chain two double crochet in the next space one double crochet front post double crochet buff in the next stitch front post double crochet one double crochet in next two stitches the repeat will be front post double crochet buff front post double crochet one double crochet double crochet two chains double crochet and next space double crochet front post double crochet buff front post double crochet one double crochet in next two stitches and repeat to the end Finish with two double crochets, front was double crochet in the last stitch, slip stitch in the first buff. And that's how round six ends. Round seven, chain one, buff. front post double crochet double crochet and next two stitches double crochet two chains double crochet and next chain space double crochet and next two stitches front post double crochet in next stitch buff front post double crochet double crochet in next two stitches the repeat will be front was double crochet buff front was double crochet double crochet in next two stitches double crochet chain two double crochet in next space 
double crochet in next two stitches front was double crochet buff front was double crochet double crochet in next two stitches repeat to the end end with two double crochet front post double crochet in the last stitch slip stitch in the first buff and that's the end of round seven round eight chain one buff in the same stitch Front was double crochet, double crochet in next three stitches, double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the next chain space. Double crochet in next three stitches. Front was double crochet, buff, front was double crochet, double crochet in next two stitches, front was double crochet. Buff front was double crochet, double crochet in next three stitches, double crochet, two chains, double crochet in the next space, double crochet in next three stitches. Front was double crochet, buff, front was double crochet, double crochet in next two stitches. And repeat to the end. End with two double crochet and front bust in the last stitch. Slip stitch in the first buff. And that's the end of the round. Round nine, chain one, buff in the first stitch. Front was double crochet, double crochet 
and next three stitches. Front was double crochet and next stitch. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet and next chain space. Front was double crochet. Double crochet in next three. Front post double crochet. Buff. Front post double crochet. Double crochet and next two stitches. The repeat will be front post double crochet, buff, front post double crochet, double crochet in next three stitches. Front was double crochet, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and next chain space. Front was double crochet, double crochet, and next three stitches. Front was double crochet. Buff. Front was double crochet. Two double crochet. And repeat to the end. End up with two double crochet and front post double crochet and last stitch. Slip stitch and the first buff. And that's how round nine looks. Round ten, slip stitch, buff. Front was double crochet, double crochet in next three stitches, front was double crochet, double crochet in next stitch, double crochet, chain two double crochet and next chain space, one double crochet, front was double crochet. Double crochet in next three stitches. Front was double crochet. Buff. Front was double crochet. Double crochet in next two stitches. The repeat will be front post double crochet, buff. Front was double crochet, 
double crochet in next three front boss double crochet double crochet double crochet chain to double crochet in next space double crochet front boss double crochet double crochet in next three front boss double crochet puff front boss double crochet and double crochet in next two ruby to the end End with two double crochet and a front post double crochet in the last stitch. Slip stitch in the first buff. That's the end of round 10. Round 11, chain one, buff. Front was double crochet, double crochet in next two, double crochet in next three stitches, front was double crochet, double crochet in next two stitches. In the next space, make 10 double crochet. Remove your hook, insert it in the first double crochet, and pull up the loop. Be careful to the hidden stitch after that 10 double crochets. Double crochet in next two stitches. Front was double crochet, double crochet in next three stitches, front was double crochet in next stitch, puff, Front post double crochet, double crochet in next two stitches, the repeat will be front post double crochet, buff, front post double crochet, Double crochet in next two stitches, front boss double crochet, double crochet in next two stitches, ten double crochet in next space.
remove your hook, insert it in the first double crochet, and pull up the loop. Two double crochet. Be careful to the hidden stitch. Front was double crochet. Double crochet in next three stitches. Front was double crochet. Buff. Front was double crochet. Double crochet in next two stitches. And repeat to the end. Finish with two double crochet and a front double crochet in the last stitch, slip stitch in the first puff. After you finish round 11, open up the 10 double crochets. Just this way and bring them down. Round 12, chain 1, buff, front post double crochet, double crochet in next 3 stitches, front post double crochet in next stitch, double crochet in next 2 stitches, Chain one, buff in the space, just like that. Chain one, double crochet in next two stitches. Front was double crochet, double crochet in next three stitches, double crochet in next stitch, buff, front was double crochet. Double crochet in next two stitches. The repeat will be front was double crochet, puff, front was double crochet. Double crochet in next three stitches. Front was double crochet. Double crochet in next two stitches. Chain one. Puff in the space.
chain one, double crochet in next two stitches. Front post double crochet and double crochet in next three stitches. Front post double crochet, puff. Front post double crochet, double crochet in next two stitches. That's how it should look. And repeat to the end. End up with front post double crochet and slip stitch in the first puff. And that's how the hexagon looks. Work up your hexagons for the size you want and wait for the half hexagons video. And to be alerted with the next video, I click subscribe and activate the bell button and don't forget to share your project with those hashtags and mention me in instagram so i can share your project i will also put the link to the ravelry page of the pattern i will really appreciate it if you upload your pictures there too if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye